Welcome to Mars or Bust. I'm Spaceman Dave, and this is episode 15. Starship needs a mother ship. Please hit like and subscribe. It lets myself and YouTube know you're enjoying these videos. Hey everybody, Spaceman Dave here. Today we've got an episode based on the mothership concept. In other words, Starship rendezvous with a mothership in orbit around Earth, flies to Mars, and then leaves the mothership to land on the planet. There's been a lot of talk at the water cooler saying that Starship needs some help getting there. So let's take a look at this concept and see how it would play out. The way the plan's supposed to work right now is Starship takes off from Earth, rendezvous with a tanker, and heads to Mars. Spends five to six months getting to Mars, then lands on the planet, needs to refuel, take off from the planet, and head back to Earth. There are several issues that people have been having with this concept. One of them being the lack of gravity all the way to Mars. That causes a lot of issues with the human body over time. Unlike Superman, that when he comes to Earth he gets stronger, when we go to Mars we get weaker. That is, if we don't have gravity on the way there. With the lack of gravity we lose muscle mass and muscle strength. In short, we land on Mars as a bunch of 80-year-old, 100-pound weaklings. I don't know about you, but that doesn't sound like any fun to me. I have enough trouble the way it is trying to maintain this godlike physique. <laughs> hey, 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 don't you have something to do? Hmm, sorry about that, just the wife. Next, once they're down on the planet, that causes a lot of problems if something goes wrong. Whether there's one or multiple ships on the planet, it's not like there's a parts depot anywhere nearby. This would kind of cause a problem. The other problem is all these ships need to be refueled to be able to leave the planet. And then fly all the way back to Earth and land. That's a lot of fuel. Each one of those starships holds 1,200 metric tons of liquid methane and liquid oxygen. And it all has to be made on Mars. Okay, so what would having a mothership in orbit around the planet do to fix all these problems? Let's start with the fueling issue. If there was a mothership waiting for Starship up in orbit, and if Starship leaves the mothership with a full load of fuel, after landing on the planet, it should still have enough fuel to return to the mothership in orbit. This would mean there'd be no need to refuel on Mars. Now a mothership could have additional tanks on board to hold additional fuel. That means Starship could refuel if it needed to before landing back on Earth. So the mothership idea makes a lot of sense. Having a larger ship in orbit that can carry more fuel, more supplies, and people is definitely a benefit. But it does absolutely nothing for the gravity issue. So what can be done about that? I personally think that a torus ring-shaped structure is probably the best bet. These would produce simulated gravity, also known as pseudo-gravity. I've gotten quite a few comments from people that think we should go with an advanced propulsion system that would produce enough thrust that we could go with the acceleration-deceleration gravity concept. Like the plasma magnet sail or the power beaming system. I'll put links to these systems down in the description. The problem is, these propulsion systems are still in the development and testing stage. They're not ready to be installed in a starship. I think that would be a perfect topic for a future video. In fact, I know I'm going to do one. So keep an eye out for it. It won't be too much longer and I'll do one. 
So back to our original thought. My thought is, if we could take a starship and insert it into the center hub of a rotating torus, this would give the passengers the gravity they need to maintain their health on their way to Mars or to other destinations in space. The module section could have its own propulsion, or it could use the starship as propulsion. Five. It could also be designed in such a way where you could have multiple starships connected to it. It would also give a place for storage of fuel and other supplies. Now Bigelow Aerospace has a system that I think would work very well for this. They have designs for habitats for the moon, habitats for Mars, and habitats for the space station. I don't think it would be too difficult for them to design one for Starship. In my personal opinion, I think SpaceX needs to talk to Bigelow Aerospace, if they're not already. I think it would be a great fit and solve a lot of problems. Give me your opinion down in the comments. Okay, guys, it's come to that time again. I want to thank all my wonderful patrons. You guys are just totally amazing. You helped me so much. I truly appreciate you guys. You rock.